Uh, you're a member of the Society of St. Columban. How does that relate to China? The Missionary Society of St. Columban was founded exclusively to work in China. And our founder had been working in China and came home with a view to getting support. And he got the support of an eminent um, Minuth theologian who worked with him and began the society in Ireland. It then spread to the United States and Australia and uh, later to England. And um, from there it became known as the Columban Fathers because St. Columban was our saint. The Columban Fathers worked in China till the 1950s and did a, a marvellous amount of work. I'm reading some of the archives now about what they did. And um, I really would think we are not doing ourselves a service by not writing it up. Because today in China there's such a talk about social development. We made huge contributions to social development and of course we made huge contributions to faith development as well. We all had to leave in the 1950s and then there was very little contact for a number of years. Slowly contacts were regained in China and today I'm back in China, in the capital, working in the National Catholic Seminary, fully known as a Columban Father, welcomed and invited to help the Church to be in China today. I'm hoping that we can develop that presence in many ways in the future.